hai. Let's first read the statement and then decide what to do over here. So the statement says a number consists of two digits, right? So we have a number which has two digits. The digit at tens place exceeds the digit in units place by four. So if we have a number like AB, where A is the digit at tens place and B is the digit at units place, what will be this number? This number will be 10 times A plus B, right? Because if you remember, 27 is actually 2 times 10, that is 20 plus 7. Right? Similarly, if two digits of the number are A, B, A at tens place and B at units place, the value of that number can be found by multiplying A by 10 because it is at tens place plus B and this will give us the actual value of the number. Right? Yes. So, now let's read it further what they say. They say the digit at tens place exceeds the digit in units place by 4. B is the digit at units place. A is actually B plus 4. Right? Or if you write all the variables on the left hand side. So we will get A minus B is equal to 4. And let's call this as equation number 1. Okay, next they are saying the sum of the digits is one seventh of the number. So the sum of the digits is A plus B, right? And this is one seventh of the number. What is the number? Number is 10A plus B, right? And now let's do one thing. Now let's multiply both the sides of this expression by 7. We will get 7 times a plus b will be equal to 7 times 1 by 7. 10a plus b. Right? And let's simplify it further. So if we open the bracket on the left hand side, we will get 7a plus 7b. This will be equal to this 7 and this 7 will get cancelled and we will have the bracket only. So this will be equal to 10a plus b. Let's shift all these 7a and 7b to the right hand side. So we will get 10a plus b minus 7a minus 7b. This will be equal to 0. Right? So from here we will have 10a minus 7a will be 3a. B minus 7b will be minus 6b. This will be equal to 0. Right? And since 6 is the multiple of 3, if we divide the whole equation by 3, we will get 3a divided by 3 will be a. Minus 6b divided by 3 will be 2b is equal to 0. Right? Yes. And let's call this as equation number 2. So, let me erase this process where we have tried and constructed our second equation. And now I am going to write this second equation over here which is a minus 2b is equal to 0. This was our second equation. Right? Yes. And now we can remove this also. So if we subtract second equation from equation number 1, that is if we do 1 minus 2, 
Let's see what we get. The first equation is a minus b is equal to 4 and the second equation is a minus 2b is equal to 0 and since we are subtracting the second equation we have to change its signs so a will become minus a minus 2b will become plus 2b and this 0 will be negative 0 is a sign free number so the sign actually doesn't matter and now this plus a and minus a will get cancelled and plus 2b minus b will be b this will be equal to 4 minus 0 4 so the value of b is 4 right and if we put this value of b as 4 in equation number 1 we will get a minus 4 is equal to 4 if we transposition this minus 4 we will get a is equal to 8 right so this is our solution we have got a is equal to 8 and b as 4 so the number ab will actually be 84 right where a plus b that is 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 which is 1 seventh of 84 what is 84 by 7 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 right so this is actually the verification part and this was the solution right and these were the two equations which we have formed by reading out the statement and applying our logic